guys, um, last night here, um, and welcome back, um, it's been a while since I've, um, made a video for you guys, um, mostly because I've been focusing more on school and debating whether or not to shut this channel down. Um, however, um, a little advice from my mom, and I am back at it. So, um, to kickstart my return, um, we're going to be taking a look at, um, one of my favorite characters that I've bought within the past six months, maybe. Um, Studio Series 86 Autobot Hot Rod, uh, in the Voyager class scale. So, here we are, and he's sitting right here, um, so I'm going to put him off to the side so we can... You know, I don't really care much for the packaging. Um, if you've seen my Reddit, um, then you know that I don't really care much about the packaging because I got um, the new Deluxe Boba Fett. Um, I got him at Walmart, and there were like four of them, and all four of them had damaged packaging. Luckily, um, last time I went grocery shopping at the time of this recording, um, there were about like six or seven of them that were in perfect condition. Condition. Um, at this time, I have the Deluxe Boba Fett. I don't care much for the packaging, but my dad does because he works, because he wants to make sure, you know, he wants to make a case for grading. Anyway, um, enough about that. Um, so, I'm not going to, so, for the change, the changes that I'm going to make, I'm not going to do anything about the packaging. I'm, I'm not going to go into the packaging. I, I really am not. I am going to do the backdrop, however. If the figure includes, if it includes the backdrop, then I'm going to do it. So, um, for this one, we get this little scene. Um, if you don't remember this, um, probably because you're not old enough to remember, but um, this is a scene from the Transformers the movie. The first ever Transformers movie, I think. Um, from 1986, hence the, uh, Studio Series 86 line. Um, so yeah. Um, and this is a scene that I think they call the Depths of Unicron. Um, and this is from the movie. Um, I'm not going to spoil the movie if you have not seen it. Um, go watch it. I think it's coming out in 4K. Um, at the time of this recording, I, I am not, conf I am not confirming nor denying anything, but I think it's coming out in 4K. Um, anyway, let's, uh, so yeah. So there we have that. Let's put this off to the side. And bring in Hot Rod. Camera, put the camera down a little bit so you guys can see. So, yeah. So Studio Series Hot Rod, um... What's not good to say about this figure? I like this figure. I actually do. Um, I don't own the Masterpiece, but through, um, through all the reviews that I've seen, this guy is actually better than that one. Um, now, I'm not counting the Rodimus Hot Rod, the, the Evolution figure, the one that turned from Hot Rod into Rodimus. I'm counting the actual Masterpiece Hot Rod. Um, I think it's 28. Masterpiece MP28, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I will look that up. So, yeah, and um, some people have, have said that this figure is actually better. Now, at the time of this recording, I have not picked up the Kingdom Rodimus. However, due to um, one or one YouTuber's... Um, channel prime versus prime who has the most insane freaking shipping i've ever seen um he reviewed it um go check out his video um prime versus prime remember that name and um basically he reviewed that um and it looks it looks incredible it looks incredible honestly i i don't know what takara and Hasbro are doing, but they need to keep it up. So, um, so this is Hot Rod, um, and, um, I know that many people have said that Hot Rod is not, uh, their favorite character from that movie, but, um, 
mainly because of what he did. But, um, you know, second degree murder, charges aside, um, figure's not that bad. Um, it's got transparent blue for the windshield. Uh, you got the flame detail right here. You know, lots of, lot of nice molded detail. Um, of course, you have the, uh, you have the typical underside, but it's not that bad. Um, I mean, you can see the arms, you can see the chest, you can see the legs. Um, and, uh, yeah, these things are a little bit pointy, so be careful about that. Although, being me, what do I care? Um, <laughs> so, anyway, um, so for some, well, for some comparisons, um, here is, uh, the last night, um, deluxe Bumblebee, and, uh, forgive me for the, for the dust, because, you know, this guy's been sitting here for a while, um, I... I replaced uh, this guy with the um, the actual Studio Series 07 Bumblebee. Um, so yeah, and um, here he is with. Hang on, let me attach the trailer. Um, here he is with uh, Earthrise Prime or Kingdom. But I got him from the Earthrise line, and unfortunately, he cannot fit in there. That's a little bit disappointing. There you have that. Um, now he does come with a few accessories. Um, some of which I will talk now. But he does have a plethora of accessories. For being a Voyager. In the Voyager price point. He's not that big. But I think he makes up for it. For the amount of accessories. So he does come with his, uh, his two guns. Um, which are different. They're different sculpts. Um, and I believe, um, that when he becomes <clears throat> Rodimus Prime, I think these two guns, like, connect to become, like, a longer rifle, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Oop. Um, and these can store, um, they can store, there are these two slots on here and on this little, like, engine detail. Now, for the sake of, you know, paint, I'm not going to do that. Mainly because, I don't know, you can see right here, this paint is chipped off. That's from tabbing in into the actual thing. So, for the sake of that, I am not going to. And it's hard to color match the silver on this. So, so you have those two blasters, and you also have the buzzsaw, which spins freely and, you know, has a good array of detail. Now, um, these can plug into these two slots right here. These are for the guns, and you can attach the entire thing onto the um, onto the car. But as I said, I'm not going to chip the paint on the blasters. Um, and for the first time in any studio series, um, any studio series uh, figure, you get uh, blast effects. Now, um, these are some these are some like transparent blue blast effects. Uh, a symbol flame that you know resemble flame. Um, now what you can do is you come back here, um, it goes a specific way, um, basically this, this little port, little port right here is supposed to go on the bottom. You can have that going on right there, so you know, and, you know, whoosh around and whoosh right off the, uh, my base, so yeah. So yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much it for uh, car mode. Um, you know, it's a pretty good car. Um, now let's get into transformation. Um, now, oh, also, um, I don't know what how what the hell happened here, but I I didn't even panel in this. Um, yeah, I gotta say that about this guy. This is one of the few. Um, figures that I have not applied a single drop of paint to. Like, I haven't, I didn't even color the eyes. It usually with, I mean, for the, for the past, um, couple months with my, um, with my Kingdom figures and, you know, some other G1 figures, I've only had to color the eyes. That's the most, least amount of paint I've done. But this guy, I've not had a drop of paint on this guy. Not one. 
that one drop of paint. And it, it's actually, and there's actually a reason for that. Um, now, let's get into this really, honestly, fun uh, transformation. So what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to open up this hood piece right here. There we go. You're going to open up that. You're going to take these. You're going to fold them into the body right there, but don't flip this up yet. What you're going to do here is you're going to take this. Um, it does clip onto this little stack, uh, smoke stack right there. You're going to unclip that. There's a little tab that goes into the arm. You're going to untab that and then bring the arm forward. Same thing on the other side. It's best to push the uh, this part this part in. Bring the arm forward. There you have that. Um, what do you want? What do we want to do? Um, so what you want to do with the back part is you want to angle. You want to angle these. Um, these little bits out, you want to move them to the side like this, just to get them out of the way. They tap into the uh, to the legs, um, and you want to bring. Oop, it's getting caught in the way. Oh, you want to push them past, and you want to bring this up to about like there. And then at this point, we can just focus on the legs. So you want to open up this little piece. You want to fold out. The leg. You want to fold out the foot. You want to take this, thoops into place. You want to fold this into itself like that. You want to fold all this into the foot, into the leg. Then these two slots will go into these two grooves right there. A little bit closer. These two little grooves right here. So just do that, and that locks the leg in. Same thing on the other side. Fold that out. Fold that out. Fold the foot out, fold that in, fold that in, and there you have the legs all done. Um, at this point, we can, this thing is on a double hinge, but it's kind of a little bit tough to, you want to do, actually, you know what, you want to rotate that up, and you want to bring that up for now. Um, at this point, we can rotate the waist 180, like that. Uh, you want to bring this back down. Uh, let me just raise it up, raise up the camera, because it's getting a little bit tight. A little bit. Just a tad bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, then what you want to do is you want to untab all this, bring that down. What you want to do here is you want to bring this up slightly, then rotate all this. You want to bring this down. You want to bring the head up. And bring all, fold all this down. Like that. And then fold it up on this, like... Yeah, there you go. You know, fold all that up. At this point now, you can fold this up. This little tab will go into this little slot right here. Secure that in place. You want to fold that out. F rotate that around and then fold it in. Fold that out. Rotate that. This little, this little part will go into this little groove right here. And if you don't believe me, that's it. That's it for Studio Series Hot Rod. And let me just say, this guy is a freaking miracle. Um, over the past, over my um, collection history, I've never had a figure that is this well engineered. <clears throat> Now I know that the Rodim that Rodim that the Rodimus figure, the Commander class Rodimus, um, has a little bit better engineering, but it's kind of like an evolutionary um, thing. I don't know if I'm going to get that, and you'll see why um, when I get to the comparisons for this guy. So yeah, so um, I don't know what you can see. Let me turn the light on. So you can see there. Can I focus on the freaking. Focus on the face. There we go. You see, those are the original stock painted eyes. I have not painted that. So, you know, that's a little bonus right there. You can see the chest. You know, it's a faux chest, but, you know, at this point, I don't mind. 
you know, you see everything just compacts up. And even here, it's not that hollow. I mean, it's it's it doesn't feel like it's hollow like the masterpiece. Um, so yeah, you know, you got the big, you know, wing, wing veins. I wish this kind of, you know, like compacted a little bit better. But, you know, I, th I think that's how Hot Rod is supposed to be. I just don't remember it being this, this, you know, like this big. I didn't think it was, I didn't remember it being this big. Um, so yeah, so articulation wise, head is on a ball joint, so you get some big waggle. Um, you do have a slight butterfly, butterfly joint in there. A little bit. Um, you have upward movement. You have many more now. Um, arms can move back and forth. You have a bicep swivel, uh, rotation. You have bend over 90 degrees. Um, you have tight wrist rotation, which uh, I don't really use. Um, and you have opening hands, which is really cool. Um, you do have waist rotation, really smooth. Um, they can move forward that far, can move back that far, out that far. You can do the full splits, which he did unintentionally. Um, you do get a... If you use the transformation joint and the actual knee joint, you do get a double bend right there, which is pretty cool. You get a thigh rotation that I don't really use, so it's really tight. Um, and you do have some toe articulation. You do have a pivot. And you do have up and down. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Now, before we get into the accessories, um, there's a couple of gimmicks that come with this guy. Um, internal gimmicks. Uh, one is um, if you come to his head crest and he or his helmet rather, um, and you lift it up, you can see this transparent blue piece. You can bring that down, and that exposes his goggles. Now, the only thing I have a problem with is that I wish they uh, like had like a nose. Like a piece where like the nose was that actually looked like gog to make it actually look like goggles, but it's just it's just a piece of transparent plastic. There's nothing special about it, so you know that's that's pretty cool. Um, now uh, with the hands, uh, there are some things you could do with the hands. Um, for this side, um, if you just bring. Bring this part down, rotate that, you expose a little peg, and we'll show off how that works later, or what, what that does later. But if you do this side, bring that down, rotate it, bring it back up, you have a little welding torch. That's kind of pitiful for a welding torch, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not expecting, you know, anything, you know, like groundbreaking, but, you know, it's kind of pitiful for a welding torch. Just saying. Um, okay, so uh, for for this thing, um, what we can do right here is we can take the bus saw and we can peg it into there. It's kind of a tight fit because I don't really use the bus saw all that all that much. I mean, the bus saw doesn't really spin that freely, but it does spin. That is a glare, Jesus. Um, but it doesn't really spin that freely. It doesn't spin as freely as, he, as I wanted it to. But, you know, it's fine. So, yeah, there you have that. And you can take the, uh... You can take the, the two blasters. Um, and thanks to the, uh... Thanks to the, uh, hands being, uh... Posable the fingers being posable, you can actually smoothly get it into his hands. Um, and you can, you know, do it like that. Come on. Work with me here. Work with me. There you go. So, you know. And uh, you can use the, uh, the blast effects. One of two ways. Um, you can actually peg it into the gun. 
which is what what I do. And that's how I have them displayed. Or what you can do is if you take out the gun, you can actually um, plug it into here to make it seem like it's coming out of his wrist. Um, unfortunately, you can't do it to the blowtorch. Um, I just thought of some why they didn't do that, but you know. Now, um, one more pair of accessories. Uh, one more pair of accessories. Uh, not really pair, but uh, two more accessories that he comes with, um, which kind of justifies the price point. But you know, um, is you come with this uh, little effect piece. Now, um, I know that Rodimus Prime comes with one, and I hear, have heard people say that it's not that impressive. Um, I kind of agree with that, just saying. Um, but, you know, this one's pretty cool. Um, it's made of soft rubbery plastic. It's made out of, uh, transparent blue. And what this does is, um, it's supposed to attach to, uh, the Matrix. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, if it, if it comes with the effect piece, why doesn't it come with the Matrix? Do I have to, sh uh, dish out some extra bucks to get, the, to get the Earthrise Kingdom Prime? No, you don't. Because, he does come with a matrix. Which is pretty cool. Um, and it's the same mold as uh, Prime's. Wait a minute. There. Um, this one's Prime's. This one, oop, this one is Hot Rods. Um, I think they might be a little bit different in sculpt. Like a little bit. At least when it nope. At least when it comes to uh, how they're painted, um, this one's a little bit deeper blue. This one's you know more like a lighter blue. So you know, and uh, what you can do with this is uh, you can attach it onto uh, the matrix. You can attach this onto the matrix. Actually, let me flip this around because it kind of is going the wrong way. And what you can do is, if you get Hot Rod here into the right pose, Give me a minute. Hold your horses. Hot Rod can now arise. And this is a famous scene from the uh, from the '86 movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, now, oddly enough, I think it does work on the uh, on the Earthrise Prime's uh, Matrix. Give me a minute. Um, this is the Earthrise Prime's Matrix. Um, I think it does work. Why is that so much a better fit? Then it took me, you know, two million years to get out. Get it on. Um, so yeah. Now um, the way to tell it is because uh, I have Earthrise Prime here. Um, how I usually tell which one is which is because one fits better in the Prime. Um, the one that comes with Prime himself is a little bit too loose, and the one that comes with uh, Hot Rod is a little bit too is a little bit snug in there. So you know that's that. Sorry, just somebody came in. Sorry, my mom just came in. Um, so yeah. 
So for a little bit of comparison, for a little bit of comparison, here he is with uh, Earthrise Prime, which um, I'll, I'll talk about. I'll talk about this uh, in a little bit when I'm done. So you have him next to Earthrise Prime. He doesn't look that bad. Um, here he is next to Earthrise Starscream. Give me a minute. He looks nice next to Seeker. Sorry, uh, my mom just got me. Um, I'll talk about it after. Um, here he is with uh, Netflix Soundwave, which is the only one of my G1 figures I've had to completely freaking uh, redesign. Um, I had to do some cassette things. Thanks to his cassette mode. Why is this flap up? Jesus. And, um, here he is next to Titan's Return, Galvatron. Now, um, let me just say something right now. Um, I have, I am not sure whether I'm going to get the Rodimus or the Galvatron from Kingdom. I am not 100% sure. So, um, just leave down in the comments which one I should get. I mean, honestly, you know, I'm fine with just having this, just having this hot rod, but I do want the Rodimus Prime. But on the other hand, I need a new Galvatron, as you can see. Um, now you might be wondering how the heck I got a cannon on the side of his arm. Well, I just drilled it out. Now, I know there's an upgrade kit on eBay. I really just didn't care. I just drilled it out, so. And I did paint him up a little bit, so. Um, I did get this, and um, don't ask about the original Canon. I don't have that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I got this from Once Upon a Child. I'm not going to lie. I got this from Once Upon a Child. So, yeah. So, there you have that. So, alright. So, that's my review for Studio Series Hot Rod. Now, a um, couple of things that I need to address with you guys um, upon this return. Um, as of this point, I have not... My latest video is the Figma Ryuko Mott toy. Um, two things about that review. One, there will be another anime-esque um, review coming maybe late October, um, maybe early early November, depending on the shipping. Um, number two, that review... I think I might have said that I will be doing Blitzwing yet next. I have deleted the Blitzwing. I had I had five um, reviews ready to, ready to be edited and all that. Here's the problem. Those figures are way too freaking old. I current currently I deleted the. Studio Series Blitzwing, the Earthrise Starscream, and the Studio Series 07 Bumblebee review. Those are gone forever. Right now, in my in my phone right now that I'm recording with, I have the Nemesis Prime review, and I have the Netflix Soundwave review. Two Netflix figures. Um, now, I do have Alita 1, however, I will not be doing that review. Because that's not going to take, that's going to take a little bit. That's, ugh. let me rephrase that. That's not going to take a long time. That's really not going to take a long time to do. Um, so yeah. So right now I have five more reviews to do. Um, I've got two more studio series, two kingdom reviews, and I've got one more special review to be, uh, that needs to be, um, done. Um, if you have seen my Reddit, 
my Reddit posts, um, then you know what figures I've gotten over the past couple of months. Past couple of months, um, and those reviews, probably in sequential sequential order of when I got them, are going to be coming next. Um, that special review is going to be. No, no, no. Um, one of the Kingdom reviews is going to be coming up uh, after this one. So, um, I will have that ready as soon as possible. Um, now, the reason I've been away for so long is because um, I've been focusing more on school. And I've been debating on what I want to do. At the time of this recording, um, I have graduated from high school. Um, if you want to give me congrats, go right ahead. I don't care. Um, if you just want to, you know, grab about everything that's wrong with your life, just go right ahead. But I do have my high school diploma. Um, graduated with high honors and a certification in graphic design. Now, that leads me to this next point. I have no idea where I want to, where I want to go next in my life. It might be this on YouTube. It might be something. Currently, I'm probably I'm I'm choosing between doing this or going into the police academy. Right now, I'm unemployed, so I don't know. Now, if you don't see any more reviews for me. That's kind of an indication that my review schedule is out the window and my reviews will no longer be coming to this channel. And, I, and I've been doing a lot of, you know, viewing instead of recording. So, you know, if, rev if reviews suddenly stop, then I'm then I'm probably gonna do an announcement video stating that I'm done um, with YouTube, that I'm done recording for YouTube, um, and that's because a I found a job, or b I just have lost interest. Because let's be real, this whole YouTube thing has been a hobby of mine, and not you know a way to make money. I've been doing this for about four to five years, um, and I just I just need to move. I just might need to move on. So, you know, I'm sorry for getting all dark and gloomy. Now, um, I do have now. As I said before, I do have two more studio series, two more Kingdom reviews, which one of them is going to be coming up. Um, next um now if you've seen Jabby the Hong reviews I'm just gonna say this right now it is those, it is though those exact two reviews that are gonna be coming out um the figures that he's reviewing at the time of this recording um those two figures are going to be the ones that I will be reviewing the exact same ones I'm not lying um and yeah, so just, you know, keep, keep a watch out for my Twitter, um, keep a watch out for my Instagram, um, both links will be in the description down below, I might put my Reddit there, I don't know, um, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry to end this review on, on, a, on a sore subject, I, I just, I just, I just need time to think right now, um, so, yeah. Um, I'm still a massive collector, but, you know, just reviewing that stuff is going to be an optional, an option for me. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So, there is my review for the Transformers Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Autobot Hot Rod. And this is Lucas saying, remember, if you're geek, that's cool. If you're not geek, that's cool, too. Be happy, and I will see you all later. Most likely. Bye. We are here. We are waiting.